when I was much younger, when I was in fourth grade, one of the big projects that we had in the class was to create a bridge. And the bridge was supposed to be made out of toothpicks and glue. And we would make it and we put it between two desks and we would hang weights from it and to see how long it would last before it collapsed. And I remember thinking at that time, because we were all paired up with someone from our class, I remember thinking that my partner was kind of dumb. I was thinking like, I was so much smarter than this girl that I was partnered with. And I remember I was known as this pretty smart guy in the class. And when we got to building it, I was like, you know what? I'm the smarter one. I should design this, right? So I started designing it and I told her, just, just execute what I say. I'm, I'll design it. You just put the toothpicks like this. You just glue it like this. And I remember we do this for a couple weeks, right? This is a pretty long project. And eventually we test out the bridges and it's whoever holds the most weight that wins. And so I remember that everybody goes for the first round or if it's like two pounds or something like that. And two pounds are put on all the bridges. Mine survives and it does well. All right. Then the next round comes and the they increase by another two pounds and now it's four pounds and it still survives and then the next round comes and at this point only one person's bridge has broken only one person's bridge on the next round they put six pounds on the bridge and mine broke six pounds because i remember later on people's bridges were surviving to 20 24 pounds and i looked at mine and it was six pounds and I was like, what is this? What's going on? I thought I was a smart guy. And all these people thought I was a smart guy too. And I remember my friend asking me, yo, how come your bridge only lasted six pounds? That was the second to last. And I looked at him and I said, well, it, dude, I, I designed it well. It's just this, this girl didn't glue it right. This girl didn't glue it right. And later on in the day, we're supposed to take the bridges back home. And I remember taking the bridge back home and putting it on my bed and realizing that it had broke where there was a toothpick. It didn't break because of the glue, it broke a toothpick. And that was not the glue, that was the design. That was me, that was my part of the project. I had just told her, hey, do what I say, and she did, and she did it perfectly. My design wasn't good, my design wasn't enough but still when people ask me hey how come yours broke pretty quickly i would always tell them dude it's because it's because she didn't do it right I, I told her to just put the glue right here and she didn't do it right that's why and obviously she didn't know because i took the bridge home but in my heart i knew that it was my fault and i blamed her for it i blamed her so much for it and really it ate away in my soul because I knew I wasn't being a good person. I knew that honestly I was lying to all of these people. It was 100% my fault. It was 100% my ego that caused us to fail. It feels good to blame others. It feels good to put the fault on other people. And you have to realize why this is. It's because we all feel like we're superior in some unique way maybe it's not a standardized way because obviously then you know i wouldn't be the smartest but i'm i'm smart i'm intelligent i'm cool i'm superior in one unique way at least i'm, I'm superior and we all believe that we are a good person because it's impossible to truly believe that you are a bad person because then what is the point of living even criminals and thieves and murderers think that they are good people. They think that they are doing justice to an unjust world. They think they are taking revenge. They think that they're acting out. They're doing right in the world. Everybody has this personal truth that they are a good person. Because without that, you cannot live. And when you think that you are a good person and something fails, it's easy to blame the world because it's not me right because I'm, I'm really a good person like i know what i'm doing i'm superior in this way and you fail well, well it had to be well not because of me because i'm superior right it can't be me so it's got to be whoever's around me it's got to be all these different things the circumstance it's my luck it's these people it's easy to blame it's easy to put the fault on others it's easy to give away that responsibility when things fail.
But the thing is, you will always harbor self-doubt. There will always be a tiny voice in the back of your mind that says, Oh, you, 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 you caused that to fail. That, that, was, that was you. There will always be that tiny voice. Do you want that tiny voice speaking to you when you're making important decisions? Do you want that tiny voice telling you, Hey, you can't do it. You can't do it. In the moment that will decide if you are victorious. Do you want that little voice telling you that? And not only that, you have to realize that when you say that it's others' fault for your failing, it's this person and this person and this person, it's because I have bad luck, it's because of this circumstance, you are giving away responsibility. You are giving away responsibility in that failing and it makes you feel good because you're not as bad. Right? You're still a good person. But even when you win, in your mind, you will still feel like, wait, that's not me. Even though I succeeded, you know, I'm not that guy, right? Like, usually it's my circumstances that determine if I win. Usually it's my people that are around me that, that determine the success. You know, it's these outside circumstances. It's my luck. These things determine my success. So if I did get success, is that really me? Is it me who accomplished this or is it the people around me? Is it me who accomplished this or is it my circumstances? And even though you won't say it and it won't be a conscious thought, it will always be in an unconscious voice talking to you inside your head. It will always give you the feeling that you are doubtful of yourself. You do not want that for yourself. You do not want your own brain against you. So this is my challenge to you. I want you to take on all the faults. I want it to be all your responsibility. When you fail and when you lose, I want it to be because of you. Even when you believe, yo, it was this guy, it was my teammate that threw the ball in this way and I missed it, it was his fault. Why did he throw it like that? It's still your fault for not catching it. It's always your fault. And when you accept it like this, it hurts so much in the beginning. It really does hurt. But you have to realize that when you take responsibility for your life, when you take control of your life and you stop being this victim to your circumstances, you will feel proud when you win. You will feel a genuine self-belief and you will forge an unconquerable spirit. You will be the person that people fear. You will be the guy that people fear. If he takes fault in everything, he's always responsible. He's always in there. He's never blaming others. It's always him and he's always learning and using mistakes as lessons. I would be afraid of that guy. You need to be that person. You need to be that person, be that fear in other people, the guy that takes on all the fault. And I promise you will be unconquerable. I hope that you got something from this video and I hope that you go out and conquer.